BlackRock's Ethereum ETF, SEC, open for comments, market skeptical. Howdy there, crypto enthusiasts and blockchain believers, Andrew here bringing you the latest scoops from the world of crypto. Today we're diving into a juicy update on the BlackRock Ethereum ETF, a topic that's kept us on the edge of our seats. So the US Securities and Exchange Commission, or the SEC for short, has put out a call for public comments on BlackRock's proposed spot Ethereum Exchange Traded Fund, or ETF. This follows the Nasdaq's submission of a revised proposal on April 19 to make sure it's in line with regulatory expectations. The BlackRock ETF, known as the iShares Ethereum Trust, is an ETF that aims to track the performance of Ethereum's price. It's been in the works since the initial filing in November 2023. Now, the amendment departs from the initial proposal in a pretty major way. It's changing from a model of direct exchanges with Ethereum to a cash transactions model. And the SEC has given stakeholders and the public 21 days to chime in with their thoughts on these proposed changes. These comments are crucial because they'll influence the regulatory review and potentially the final decision. Let's break down the revised structure of BlackRock's Ethereum ETF. The original proposal involved a creation and redemption process that involved a direct exchange of Ethereum. But the revised resubmission makes it clear that these procedures will now be done in cash transactions. This cash redemption model is similar to the approach used for spot Bitcoin ETFs that got the green light from the SEC in January. This shift to a cash-based approach is seen as a move towards regulatory comfort, focusing on financial transactions rather than physical ones. BlackRock's revised proposal also doesn't include a staking provision, unlike some other firms like Fidelity and Grayscale, which have included staking mechanisms in their revised ETF applications. This amendment shows a cautious approach from BlackRock, perhaps to make the approval process smoother by sticking close to regulatory precedents. The cryptocurrency ETF landscape in the US is still pretty uncertain, with big financial players like BlackRock resubmitting their proposals to get the green light. But despite these efforts, market analysts have become more skeptical about the near-term approval of Ethereum ETFs. Bloomberg's ETF analyst Eric Balchunas recently lowered his probability prediction of these ETFs getting approved by May from around 70% to just 25%. And Standard Chartered has also changed its initially bullish outlook, now seeing the chances of Ethereum ETFs getting the SEC's nod in May as pretty low. This shift in expectations is due to the lack of positive dialogue between the SEC and ETF applicants, which was a sign of approval for Bitcoin ETFs in the past. The SEC's delay in making decisions on other ETF proposals, like those from Franklin Templeton and Grayscale, shows a cautious regulatory approach to these cryptocurrency-inspired financial products. This extended timeline gives the SEC time to gather and analyze public feedback which will play a big role in shaping the regulatory environment for Ethereum and other cryptocurrency ETFs. So, there you have it folks. The BlackRock Ethereum ETF proposal is still in the works, with the SEC seeking public comments on the revised structure. The market is still uncertain, with analysts becoming more skeptical about the near-term approval of Ethereum ETFs. Remember, you can always find more crypto news, analysis, and insights on our YouTube channel, Bitspools. Be sure to subscribe and like our videos to stay up to date on the latest happenings in the world of blockchain and cryptocurrencies. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a beat. Thanks for watching, and keep on hodling!